What if there was this miraculous material that could help us solve the major crisis our civilization faces today? Solutions to the food crisis, to the climate crisis, to the water crisis, to the energy crisis, the fertilizer crisis. What if we can regenerate our soils, we can manage our biomass to capture carbon, remove carbon from the atmosphere, and increase food security and the production of all what nature gives us. We can do it. The material is here. We don't have to invent it. We don't have to develop any new technologies. We just have to do it. What is the miracle material? It's called biochar and it's basically carbonized biomass. The biomass comes in from gardens and agriculture and we separate it. Part of it goes into making biochar, this material, and part of it goes to making compost. And it's mixing of those two that makes it so powerful. This material, this biochar, looks like regular charcoal, but it's not. It's, it's much more advanced than that. And this is a Contiki flame cap kiln. It's a pyrolyzing kiln, which uses very high temperature and a fast pyrolysis to flush out all the volatile organic compounds. And by eliminating these volatile organic compounds, these gases and oils, we open up the pores in this biomass that make this material so perfect for applications in agriculture. Once this pyrolysis has carbonized the material, we have a recalcitrant carbon. It means it's a permanent carbon. It will stay in the ground for hundreds and even thousands of years. And this is what makes it so interesting from a carbon capture and removal perspective. So for every ton of biochar, we can remove up to 3.67 tons of carbon dioxide. Even though through the burning process, half of the carbon dioxide returns to the atmosphere, this would occur anyways, and all of it would return to the atmosphere if the biomass were left to decompose on the forest floor or on the field. So we're, we're capturing 50% roughly of the carbon that this biomass holds. Here's one of our compost piles. The, uh, the biochar that has been shredded and ground up has been mixed with the compost and this has provided homes for the microorganisms so we're accelerating the composting rate of this compost and increasing the number of microorganisms that are working in this soil. Through this process, through correct pyrolysis of the biomass, through direct and correct application to compost, we're able to speed up the regenerating capacity of the soil and the earth and increase exponentially the growth of food. I wanted to show you the beauty and the health of our plants. If you pay attention to the leaves, how lustrous they are. Mm -hmm.